Okay. What's up, YouTube? Um, today I'm going to be making a video uh, reviewing this cat uh, 1 16th scale RC excavator by Diecast Masters. So I'm reviewing this because when I went to buy this machine, there's a distinct lack of any kind of informative videos on it. Um, basically, there was one out there and it was garbage and didn't tell you anything about it so it was just kind of a shot in the dark buying this and hopefully by me making this video somebody else can have a little better understanding of what they're purchasing uh yeah so what comes in the box uh for this excavator is obviously the excavator itself um the controller Kind of looks like uh, an Xbox controller, I guess. Uh, the charger for the battery, just a standard, you know, USB charger. Uh, the battery, it's a 7.4 volt, uh, 2000 milliamp battery. Um, so the first attachment is a jackhammer. Uh, it does have a motorized function, you know, the, the hammer itself will go in and out, hammering, you know, hammering. Uh, there's a grapple, you know, kind of a log style grapple. Um, I'll try and pause the video and get a actual shot of this working. Um, and then it just comes with a couple tools, a little screwdriver. And a little wrench for uh, changing out the buckets and stuff. Uh, it comes with some extra pins, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so I'll throw the battery in this and uh, we'll run through the functions. So the battery just goes in this back compartment here. Um, I've already got it connected. Now I'm not putting this connector together tightly because it's a real pain to try and get undone. It's really tight, so I'm gonna have to throw some uh, dielectric grease on that or something to make it easier. So you close that up. And there's a little switch here on the bottom of the excavator that you turn on. And you'll notice the light flashing on the excavator. And it just means it's looking for the remote. So I'll get the remote here and I'll turn it on. You'll hear the startup sound. Um, sound is kind of crummy. It's not that great. I don't like it very much. So I usually run it without the sound, which is just this button here. Turns that off. And uh, this button will do the lights. like that on and off and uh yeah we'll run through the controls quick so the right joystick up and down is the main boom left and right is the bucket curl and uh the main boom actually does have quite a bit of power like it will it will pick itself up pretty easily. So I am pretty pleased with that. Uh, the left joystick uh, up and down is the stick movement. So it's in and out. And then side to side is the swivel. And it does have unlimited swivel. So it will go the full 360 and just keep going around and around as many times as you want. So that's nice. And it's the buttons up here on the, I guess it'd be the front of the controller, uh, are the track movements. So the top two here are forward and the two in the back are reverse. And you can hit them whatever configuration to steer you can do one at a time one in reverse one forward to 
give it a 360 degree steering. Anyways, one uh, one complaint I do have about this excavator is that the motors and stuff in it are quite loud. So yeah, so it's, it's a bit a bit loud and not very pleasing to the ear, but whatever you can't complain about too much. Um, when you have the sound on, really the the sound of the motors kind of muffle out that sound, so it's it's not the greatest setup but anyways um one more complaint i have about it is that there's just a lot of uh, a lot of slop like in the arm here and the excavator itself so the swivel's got a lot of play in it and the stick especially is you know really floppy back and forth uh the bucket's not too bad uh, the main arm has a bit but uh but anyways it's it's not too bad um this you know, it's got pretty decent power in the arm and the stick and the bucket. Uh, as you can see here, it's got the screw driven servo motors to run the arms and stuff. Um, it's a lot better than just having the plastic tooth driven thing up here, you know. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's got little safety, I guess, kill switches here so that you can't go too far and I guess burn out your motors or, or wreck your arm. Um, I haven't had this thing out digging in anything yet cause it's like minus 10 degrees Celsius and you know, snowing a blizzard outside. So it's not really ideal conditions. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can change you bucket here and pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got the grapple on the excavator now. Uh, I'll just give you a run through of how that works. So these two little buttons right here on the controller run the grapple. So it just opens and closes. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not the best grapple in the world. It's actually pretty gutless. It won't really squeeze on to anything. Um, I'll just give you an example with my little air pump there. And forgive my excavator skills. I'm still kind of learning this one, so. It grabs on the light objects pretty good, but if you want to pick up anything heavy, this is, this grapple just will not do it for you. Um, it looks really cool though, and you know, the whole machine has really nice detail. Um, you know, it's just, it's a really nice looking unit. Uh, I'm glad they incorporated the light here on the boom. That's a really nice feature. Um, you know, and even inside the cab here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a lot of nice detail. Like on the seat, they got the cat written on the, on the side there and they got the joysticks and all that kind of stuff. So that's, uh, it's nice features. Um, obviously it's the new, Cat logos with the hexagon thing. Um, yeah, so I'll switch out the grapple and put the jackhammer on just so you guys can see. Okay, so we got the jackhammer uh, mounted now. Uh, just do a quick run through. Uh, it's the same buttons as the grapple to run it. You just press either or button and it does the same thing. It just runs the hammer. And I'll put it on the ground here so you can see. So I mean it kind of mimics the real thing, you know, um, definitely don't expect this to break anything, it's, it's, it's just for show, uh, again it just looks cool, doesn't, doesn't do much of anything, um, yeah. 
I like how it will lay down flat though, so you can kind of store it that way. Um, the stick is as far in as it'll go, so you can't you can't curl the arm in super tight, you know, to put it on a trailer or something, which you know is understandable. Most RC excavators are like that, so a um, little bit of modifications you could probably make it go further. I'm not going to do that because this is an expensive model and I don't want to screw around with it. Um, but yeah, all in all, pretty decent machine. Um, definitely a big upgrade from the uh, Huina 1550 I had. Um, you know, this thing's got a lot more power. Uh, it's a just slightly, I think it's just slightly bigger even though the Queen is supposed to be 1 14th scale. This excavator is 1 16th. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, and the nice thing about it is the Huina attachments for the excavators will bolt up to this one. They'll work just fine. Um, I have a jackhammer right here from the Huina, and I'll just show you that the electronics are all the same. And it works just as it should. And uh, the bolt pattern, or well, the bolt spacing is the same. So it'll, it'll all go together for you. Um, so yeah, that's the CAT uh, 320 RC Excavator, 116th scale by Diecast Masters. Hopefully this answers any of the questions you guys are looking for. All in all, I think it's a it's it's an all right machine for the money. Um, it was pretty expensive, um, but yeah, it's it's a decent machine. I think it'd be comparable to the Huina fifteen ninety three excavator they've got out. Um, there, this is a true one sixteenth scale though. It is pretty accurate that way. Whereas I know other machines are you know, not aren't as uh, properly scaled anyways. Um, yeah, pretty good machine. Hope this answers any questions. Thanks for watching.